Philip Scott Lear was my ranger buddy in ranger school. You know, ranger school is a two-month course that you, they give about one uh, meal a day and two hours sleep at night. And they pair you up with somebody when you get there and you stay with that person throughout the whole time. And, boy, you get to know that person better than anybody. Uh, I've probably – I mean, you know, we, we had – we came from different battalions. And so after ranger school, we sort of drifted apart. I didn't see him for a little while. And uh, – not long after that came the invasion of Panama. Well, just uh, it's just so happened that of the 13 aircraft that went down there to uh, do the pair drop that night, I ended up sitting right next to, to Philip Lear. And so we got to catch up. He shared with me that he was engaged to be married. And uh, before we, we jumped, uh, we shook hands and wished each other luck. He parachuted in and uh, before too long was shot in the neck and killed instantly. Uh, I didn't know it, but uh, a couple hours later, I was at the battalion aid station and uh, was asked to move a body that was in a body bag. And so I helped to move him. And uh, not long after that, the, the chaplain came out and said, do you know who that was that you were moving? And I said, no. He said, that was that was Lear. And he gave me his dog tags. And uh, I can tell you, Grant, it was like I aged 20 years just like that. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it really brings it home when somebody you love gives their life in battle. And I, I, I can identify with the troops that I talk to nowadays who, when you ask them what's the hardest thing about uh, the, you know, the, the job that you do going overseas, facing your mortality on a daily basis, the hardship, the, the Spartan conditions, being away from your family, what's the hardest thing about your job? They say, coming home and going to the mall and seeing how clueless everybody is because they, you know, we've just been going and getting a lesson on just how costly our freedoms are. And when you come home and you see how cheaply people treat them, it makes you resent that. And I felt the same way when I got back. I wanted to just scream at people, don't you understand how, how valuable this freedom is? And you do nothing but sit on it and watch TV. And I still feel that way sometimes when I, when I think back to, to, to Lear and to uh, the, the brother, brotherhood that he and I shared, and um, the, the, so many more who have given their lives since then. 